Hello everyone. I'm a little early. I know we posted um, that I'm going to be here at five o'clock. Well, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Where in the world is Jeanette Martin, brand ambassador for Caslow Sourdough Pasta? She's in her own home kitchen. And it's, uh, I thought I'd walk you through just how easy it is to use Caslow Sourdough Pasta with a little kind of, well, a little take on a, I'm going to say a vegetable primavera with a little bit of a twist and walk you through just how easy it is. So um, in this time, we are snuggling in, we're staying at home, we're doing our part, and we just thought it'd be fun uh, to come on and show you from my own home kitchen and my funky apron. And this apron looks like I, you know, I put on like 100 pounds, but I haven't, it's just the way it is. And it's a very special apron to me. I went to uh, Europe a couple of years ago and I went to Würzburg, which is where they make vice versa. And I went to vice versa school. So it was really cool. So this is why this apron, I'm wearing it today. And I just thought we'd, let's get started. I've done some of the prep ahead of that. Oh, be right back. I gotta go wash my hands. I'll be right back. You might hear me singing in a second. Be right back. Water going. Happy birthday to whoever's out there. Happy birthday to whoever's out there. Happy birthday to whoever's out there watching with Caslo. Happy birthday to you. So I have my bar, my bar cloth back here. And of course, um, I love to travel and I love to eat really good food. And of course, the apron is from Germany. Tea towel is from Australia. So a little international and the meal I'm making is a take on a, a, a pasta primavera with a nice creamy sauce. So let's get started. First of all, let me just show you. This is gonna be very raw, so pardon. Oh. So here's my ingredients. So first of all, let's go through some of the pastas that I have here at home. I have the semolina millet, the quinoa, the classic, the semolina barley, and the whole wheat. Tonight we're gonna to use the whole wheat because um, I'm gonna reach in, remember, I just washed my hands. We're gonna make kind of a saucier sauce and this has got this nice big um, cup in the back and all these little spaces that's gonna hold onto the sauce. So the sauce is gonna be comprised of some broccoli, some red pepper, some yellow pepper. Um, I've got a carrot in there. I've got a little piece of onion. Got a little piece of garlic. You're gonna freshen it up with some lemon. A little um, borosan um, black pepper. I love black pepper. Gonna use it. A little bit of the cilantro. This stuff is awesome. Um, it's so good. Very handy. Um, Not a peel. A little drizzle on that when it's done. And gonna use some vegetable broth to make my sauce. And also just to show you, I'm having a little glass of wine as well. So kind of like the galloping gourmet, you know, anybody remember him? He was awesome. Uh, well, he was just, he was an inspiration to me. Um, it was always, I loved, I loved being sick as a kid because I always tucked in and watched the galloping gourmet a million years ago. So let's get started. Oh, and I forgot, I've got a rasher of bacon, a double smoked um, slab of bacon. And let's get started. Oh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get the water on. I put that on earlier and we'll just get it going because this pasta cooks in about five to seven minutes, depending on your taste. Don't cook it more than seven. I'm going to take it off at five because I'm going to be putting it into a hot sauce and it's going to continue the cooking. So I'll be right back. I just want to put my water back on. So my water's back on. I've got my pan set up over my gas stove. I've got some pepper, some um, olive oil over there and a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna listen for when the uh, the water starts to boil. Hey, if you're out there and you can hear me, can you give me a thumbs up, a heart, anything like that so I know that uh, you can hear me out well. And I picked up um, a slab. It's quite a thick piece, but I'm only gonna use half. I'm a single girl. So I only need half. If you were a family, this is gonna probably make me uh, enough for tonight, maybe two meals. So um, I just need one thick piece. You could probably use the whole thing. Hopefully you can see, um, oh, maybe I can ooh, make this go down a little bit more. There we go. So I'm just kind of cutting it up into little, kind of like a matchstick. If you take a look at my thumb and the piece size. Okay, that's a good relative um, size. This is gonna cook really, really quickly. I'm gonna go get my heat on of my pan. 
So I'm gonna walk my cutting board over to you uh, with me. So let's go for a walk. Nope, let me turn the camera on. You're gonna get a picture of what my, my yard looks like. Oh, no, that was, the, that's my yard. So if we take a look here, I've got my pan ready to go. Gonna start it. Gonna put it on about medium heat, medium to high heat. Gonna get the bacon going. And actually the sauce is gonna take a little bit um, more than my pasta water. So I'm just gonna turn my pasta water down. And you'll see that it's rapidly boiling. And by the way, this is the time to put the salt in. And you just need a little titch and I use a pink Himalayan salt. Anybody who watches, see how it boils, it gets the water a little bit hotter. Anybody who watches my demos, you will see that you always put the, uh, the, um, the salt in near the end. Um, okay, so we've got bacon going. So let's go back. Get you set up. This is really rudimentary. So I so appreciate you all coming along. Oh, I forgot my cutting board. I'll be right back. So this is just my home kitchen, my fun glass that I painted. This is my happy mark. This is my sad mark when I'm down here. And it's wine time. So cheers, everybody. So taking my broccoli, and you'll see the broccoli. I've got, again, see about the palm of my hand. And what I like to do is take and cut the flowerettes off it. This part, the stock has got a lot of good, um, good flavor in it. So I just kind of cut it up very small, very tight little pieces, always watching my fingers, little kind of pieces like so, and I've got a bowl ready to go. And I take the flowerettes and I'll cut those in half. Everything you want about the same size, so that way it'll all cook the same size. And I'll mention that of these times that we are at home right now, if anybody can invent smell-o-vision, that would be incredible because it's going to get smelling really delicious in here. So just cutting out my broccoli, all about the same size. And I washed everything ahead of time very well, very, very well. Just going to dust off my, uh, my cutting board. And the carrot. Okay, we've got our carrot. You know how the carrot is bigger on one end and smaller? Okay, we want to bring it back to everything the same size. You know what? I'll be right back. I need to go stir my bacon. So now I'm back, cutting up the carrots. Do a little bit of a restaurant cut. And just to let you know, um, I went to culinary school oh, back in the... Uh, early 80s so when I say a restaurant cut I just kind of mean like a nice fancier on an angle cut and you'll see that it's about the same size as the broccoli because we want everything to cook the same those just tuning in I'm Jeanette Martin the brand ambassador for Casual Sourdough and, and we're in my home kitchen tonight and we're cooking and we're making a great nutritious meal so I've got a half of red pepper I'm slicing it down into long pieces and then I'm going to give it again a little bit of an angle cut across those little pieces, across the strips. Okay, and in that goes. Oh my gosh, it's smelling so good. I'm gonna go stir my bacon, I'll be right back. So I have the bacon on um, now medium heat because I had it on um, high heat and something that you may not know you should always store your bacon in a cold pan um, it just it doesn't stick then and you get um, the bacon renders a lot better because we want that fat out of there to kind of help make our sauce so again I've got a half of yellow pepper is going in oh the bounty of these colors and this is how you keep yourself well and keep yourself feeling good is making sure that you're eating well you're eating the bounty of the colors um, it's so so important right now and I've just got a little piece of onion because I don't want a big onion flavor cutting it up into little strips little strips hey give me a thumbs up say a comment I'd love to know where you're watching from I know we've got oh I think 2300 of you right now out there and I've got one Russian uh, Russian red garlic clove I love garlic it's so good for your health as you saw, I just kind of smashed it because that helps to get the skin 
off. And one thing that a lot of you may not know, but a restaurant secret is if you put a wet cloth underneath your cutting board, it doesn't move. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of a rough chop. Remember guys, I'm not a Food Network star. I'm a home cook just like you. Went to culinary school, decided to uh, take a different path in my life. And now I'm doing Facebook Live for you. So I've got all my prep ready. I'm gonna use the lemon later, use the borsan a little bit later. But let's get this in and let's get the pasta in. Oh, oh also, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna just go check my bacon. I'll be right back. My bacon is rendered. What I wanna show you next, and I'll turn the camera around, is I have a scale, and I used my scale when I measure out my pasta, because an 80 gram serving is a really good size serving, and it's um, a balanced, and that's, um, it's enough, especially with all these vegetables. So I'm gonna turn my scale on. I'm gonna zero it, or over to um, 80 grams. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. There's my 80 gram serving, and that's gonna go into my pot. So let's go over to uh, where I'm cooking over here. So hopefully I can do this one-handed. Okay, the water's going, okay, into the pot. It goes, oh, just like, it, just like you at home. Oh. One missed the pot. So that's gonna stay there. I'm gonna put my timer on for five minutes. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna bring it back up to a little bit higher. I'm gonna watch it. Give it a stir. Okay, give it a stir. Put my lid back on, kind of sideways. And we're gonna watch that because I don't want it to boil over. So five minutes. There's my bacon. So let's get the vegetables. Get my garlic. This is not HGTV or the Food Network. This is me, my home kitchen. Look at those great colors of vegetables. In the pot. And we're gonna turn this back on. About, you can kind of see, you know, medium heat. Give that a stir. Really good colors in there. Really, really good colors in there. And I finish it with a little pepper later. If I need it, I had my olive oil ready, but I don't think it needs it. I'm gonna bring over my other ingredients because we're gonna make our sauce. I'm gonna cut my lemon. Okay, just a sec, I gotta put you down. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Gonna cut my lemon, gonna give it a little bit of a quarter. And I have a really cool tool that I love to use. This is a lemon reamer. And I put my lemon in. And I'm able, so that's gonna be ready for me. Take this over, my borosan, take my little bit of vegetable broth, my organic uh, cilantro, and my lemon. So we're gonna go over to the other side. I'll be back for the camera. Thank you for coming along. We're now here, I'm just turning this down a little bit because I don't want this to overcook and cook too fast. Look at all those great, great colors in there. If you were vegetarian, you could leave the bacon out. You could saute up some uh, tofu in here in place of it as well. Oh, my pasta water is doing well. Oh, we got three minutes. Oh my gosh, the garlic is starting to smell. Really good. Hey, I see someone's watching. Can you give me a thumbs up? Are you loving what you're seeing? What are you making for supper? If you're just tuning on, this is Jeanette Martin. I'm the brand ambassador. Come back to me. 
brand ambassador for Caslow Sourdough. I'm in my own home. I'm staying home. I'm cooking a great meal with the whole wheat sourdough pasta. Um, I've got 80 grams going in my lightly salted water. I've got two minutes left there. My vegetables are cooking well. Oops. I am not a Food Network star. Cooking well. I'm going to be adding a little bit of organic cilantro to it. I might need to use a little bit of a vegetable sauce uh, stock because I want to thin out my sauce if I need be. Some borsan cheese. Ooh, look, two minutes. Bubbling very well. Continuously stirring, getting a little bit of color, and of course, color means flavor. Color means flavor. It's awesome. I'm trying very, very hard to one handed cook. Oh, that means one more minute. And that's about the right amount of time. I don't know about you, but I like my vegetables, like my pasta, al dente. I want to make sure that I've got a nice, uh, a nice mouth feel. Oh, that's going to go in there. A little fresh bit of lime or lemon. Um, oh, let me get this going. And a little bit of stock if I need it. Just going to put you back over here. I'll be right back. You know what? Maybe I'll put this in the shot so it'll inspire you to have it like a little glass of wine while I'm gone. I'll be back. Oh, I'm going to have a sip of wine. Oh, it's so good. A nice Chardonnay to go with that. Oh, my pasta water is ready. My pasta is ready. I'll just um, take you, I'm at my sink now. I've already put the lemon into my, my vegetables. Stove off. I've got this magic little pot that has got big holes. It's got a built-in strainer. So I'm gonna strain it out. My glasses might fog up a little bit here. But this is real cooking. This is real cooking in your own house. Now I'm draining it, but I'm not taking all the water off because I want a little bit of that pasta water to go into my uh, my sauce. So we're going over the stove again. Okay. Okay. So there we go. The noodles are in here. Oh, this is definitely enough for two meals. I'm going to put a little bit of the Borasan cheese, about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. You don't need much. I'm going to put just a little bit of this vegetable seasoning in. Melt it around. going to give a little squirt of the cilantro. About that much, about a teaspoon because I like the flavor. Maybe turn the heat up just a bit. Give that a bit of stir. Make sure everything gets melted. I like a lightly dressed sauce, lightly dressed pasta. That's about it. We're going to take this off the heat. We're going to come back over to my where I'm going to plate it up for you. Move the wine. I hope this was okay for you. It's kind of a nice diversion. Um, I've got my pot ready here. Got my bowl ready. Serve myself up some. Oh yeah, this is definitely an for two meals. Take 
my cloth away, nice clean surface. A little grating of fresh pepper. So this was all probably within uh, like 10 minutes we were done. Give it a little bit of drizzle of the, I chose the Nona Pia um, strawberry fig to go on top. Just like that little bit of sweetness. A little bit of pepper on top and we're done. So I'll turn the camera around. This is what it looks like. Nice, quick pasta primavera with a little bacon, double smoked bacon, and the black pepper borasan. So again, thank you for so much for coming along. This is Jeanette Martin of uh, Brand Ambassador. Oh, I paused for a second. I pushed the wrong button. This is live, not produced. Um, thank you for coming along with me as I uh, made, made this great meal for you tonight. Oh, you wish you were here. Oh, that's the buzzer. You know what? This is home. That was laundry's telling me it's done. Um, if you want to know anything more about this recipe, I can uh, leave, leave a comment. If you want me to make something for you, I would love to. I've got lots of ingredients. I have a very well-stocked pantry. Um, from the Castle Sourdough Pasta Company, um, we wish you great health. Uh, stay inside. Be with your family. If you're going to go outside, please practice that six... I often want to say 10 feet distance in between. We want you healthy. We want you as a customer for life. Enjoy. And I'll be back tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And it's going to be a little better as I get uh, cooking from my own home kitchen. So again, brand ambassador for uh, Jeanette Martin for the Caslow Sourdough Pasta Company. Enjoy the night, everybody. While I go, enjoy my glass of wine with this amazing meal.